I was watching Discovery Channel this morning, and God gave me a new outlook on how our mind and stuff works and how His world is created and how things go together. It's been suggested that there are many realms and possibilities of parallel worlds existing and that our mind brings into existence the one that we believe and that is the one that we see. Now, taking this into consideration, um, I was watching this and it, it, it just gave me so many possibilities of our world that we could have. And with this, uh, let me go a little more detail. Okay, this is Jesus for example. A covered dish. You're in a restaurant. You're ordering food. There's many possibilities that could be in existence. But you've read the menu and you see there's only a few. And you choose one. So in your mind, when you receive it, what you end up with is the plate or hamburger that you ordered. Now, is there other possibilities? Yes, possibly. But you believe you're getting a hamburger and that's what you see is a hamburger. And that is what becomes reality. Now, is that hamburger good or bad? Well, that's another question too, isn't it? It depends on maybe you're having a bad day or whatever, whatever you having, you know, and how things are going. Maybe that hamburger could be the best one you ever had, but it might be the worst one you ever had. So can your thoughts affect that? Possibly. But in the, in the realms of what I was trying to say is that that hamburger is what kind of becomes reality, even though there are other many possibilities, and your mind has created that hamburger. Okay, now let's move back a little bit in time. Let's go back to when God created the earth. He spoke the earth into existence. And just for another example, let's go back when he fed the multitudes. The people were standing there looking around. They seen two fish go in the basket. But then again, everybody believed that it was out of sight that there was fish in that basket that was being brought around to them. And the disciples believed that God, or Jesus Christ, knew what he was doing and that the basket was full. And he kept taking it around. And even though there was only two fish that put it least down in the basket, there was a multitude of fish in the basket, and it just kept growing and growing and growing every time somebody took one out. So, because they believed there were fish, there was food. Now, this can also play many different things and factors in your life. Let's go back to quantum physics for a minute. Quantum physics suggests that there's matter and antimatter. Now, let's apply this to the mind and how we think. Antimatter being negative thoughts that are against us and destroying everything we do, think and do. Now, given this fact, now, what we think and everything, we could end up with a very, very bad response in our life just by what we think. We could actually end up with our life kind of stinking and smelling like this can of sardines. Here, let me give you one more thought to think about. With God, everything God has given you and everything and what your life could be, let's just use this as an example here. That plate represents everything you could have been in your life. But because of your lack of faith in yourself and in God and what he's given to you, you end up being a little small tomato stuck in the middle of the plate, and that's all you've managed to develop into. Now, remember before I said there was matter. Well, matter represents the things that are good in your life and everything that God has given you to work with and everything he has in store for you. Now, but this being that representation, and if you believe in yourself and everything that he has given you, your possibilities are endless of what you can create. And the world is at your hand if and at your disposal. It's all up to you. You can live in the negative world and have nothing, and a can of stinky sardines, or the possibilities are endless.